Hey, a bit stiff from that old Yorkshire geek and uh, got a bit of Star Wars gaming news. So I'm something of a gamer myself, but not really. <laughs> um, they're going to make the third in the third and final um, in the Star Wars Jedi games or Survivor, not Survivor, Jedi, I don't know, Fallen Order with the first one, Survivor with the second one, and they're doing another one. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's what they're going to do, is EA. Don't forget, like and subscribe, share the videos, drop a comment, hit the notification bell. If you subscribed already, throw me some money in the form of a super thanks, or go to the merch page and buy a t-shirt or a cap or a mug or whatever. Uh, or go to my Patreon page and sign up. Or become a member. Or become a member. Right. So here it is. PC Gamer, Joshua Wallens, says... The title is, EA says it's got a third and final Star Wars Jedi, Jedi game cooking in speech to Imperial Senate of Investors. Oh, and 40 million people have played the first two already. We will soon witness the power of an armed and fully operational video game for modern consoles. And the personal computer. What, an Apple II or something? What do you mean personal computer? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, and there's not a great rendering of Cal Kestis. Is that from the PS2 version? I don't know. It doesn't look great, does it? Anyway, they could have picked a better picture, couldn't they? Anyway, good news, gang. Very informal. So didn't say, good news, Steve. Or good news, Toy G. We're finally going to put an end to these Star Wars. If only. The Disney ones, anyway. anyway. Specifically, an end to the tales of the most tastefully mulleted Jedi to ever grace the galaxy. Cal Kestis. EA has announced that the conclusion to its Star Wars Jedi trilogy is in the works and that Respawn is working hard to bring the final chapter of this thrilling story to players. That's per EA Entertainment and Tech President Laura Miel, I hope I'm pronouncing that properly, speaking at the Corporation's Investor Day yesterday. Say that three times quickly, Investor Day yesterday. I don't know, that's not bad, is it? Anyway, uh, dropping lots of boasts and big numbers to wow the money bags. One of those boasts, over 40 million Star Wars fans have connected with Cal Kestis and his arc of becoming a powerful Jedi. So be it, Jedi. I'm assuming that's just a slightly roundabout way of saying 40 million people have played Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and Survivor, and not how many people have found Cal on LinkedIn. <laughs> it's made a killing for EA too. The corporation... So that's what Corp means. Has delivered some of the highest quality and best selling Star Wars of all time, brags Miel, with over oh excuse me, with over five billion dollars Oh good heaven, in net bookings. Again, Investor Day Speak, who can read net bookings uh, as the amount of money he has made off of games set in the Galaxy Far Far Away drinking game. Minus all the fees and what have you that eat into that number. Um, I don't know. I thought net bookings meant just orders from outlets like Amazon, Walmart. You know where you can buy games from, GameStop, whatever. I don't think we have GameStop over here, but you know they'll order so many copies of each game, won't they? Uh, or maybe you know online, like Steam. Might I don't know how Steam works, but Steam. I assume Steam will just carry the game I don't know if it would it order the game it must do there must be some negotiation going in to how, how, how Steam pays Disney or EA or whoever's dealing with it anyway whatever I thought that's what it meant but anyway no wonder EA is keen to put out another one Mel didn't drop any hints about what we can expect to see uh, or when sorry we, uh, about when oh god <laughs> I'm all over the place Miel didn't drop any hints about when we can expect to see the next Jedi game, but I'm sensing through the Force uh, that it might be a while. I was more like, like sensing through the Force there. I was, more, I was less like a Jedi than bloody uh, Venkman in Ghostbusters 2, you know, with his world of the psychic. <laughs> anyway, we only got Jedi Survivor last year. Um, and I still haven't played it. Uh, and Respawn is still dropping patches for it. So, I'd be, so when I finally get around to playing it and installing it, it's going to take like another year and a half to load all the bloody patches and updates. <sighs> so I'd be surprised if we heard a peep about the next game before it's had a few years in the oven. Plus, of course, I mean, they just said didn't they? it's in the works. That means it must be in really early stages. When they say it's in the works, um, they're probably still developing it probably maybe even just putting the teams together maybe not even started on the actual game itself 
Anyway. I forgot where I was now. Uh, plus, of course, the series lost Stig Asmussen, director of the first two games. I'm probably mispronouncing that, Stig Asmussen. Didn't he write Girl with a Dragon Tattoo? I know, it's a different fella. Or didn't he get to the South Pole first or something? No, it wasn't him either. <laughs> anyway. Um... Director of the first two games. When he wandered off to found a new studio called Giant Skull, which probably didn't speed up development. Anyway, I hope Survivor is still in the oven, says Josh, whatever the hell his name is. I hope Survivor is still in the oven too. He says, said that a couple of times. That thing's been in the oven. I wonder if he's got a pregnant wife. Maybe he has. Or girlfriend. Um, come to think of it, it's still an aggravating, hitchy mess on my 480-equipped machine. Oh, it's PC Gamer, isn't it? Uh, despite nine patches promising all manner of frame rate improvements. That doesn't mean anything. It's a 480-equipped equip, machine. I don't know. Is that the graphics card? I have no idea. Uh, I hope it eventually becomes playable, since I was very pleasantly surprised by Fallen Order. I originally wrote it off as a generic Star Wars tale starring a forgettable Blando Calrissian. <laughs> But I came away genuinely liking the game's mechanics, cast of thoroughly traumatised, uh, cast of thoroughly traumatised weirdos, and rich collection of ponchos. Uh, will they all find a happy ending in the third game? I've got a bad feeling about this. And there we go, that's the end. Uh, Joshua Wallens. Um, one of Josh's first memories is playing Quake 2 on the family computer, when he was much too young to be doing that. So he's a kid then. He's a kid. <laughs> compared to me, but most people are, to be honest. Anyway, so anyway, it's in the works, but we all suspected it were in the works. I suspect it was in the works even before the, the second game came out, but uh, anyway, so there we go. Look forward to that. I will get round to playing Jedi Survivor eventually, eventually, but uh, when that will be, who knows? I keep forgetting I've got it, to be honest. I have loads of games. You know, I've got a game for myself for Christmas because I'm always buying myself Christmas presents because no bugger else buys me nah I'm lying they do um, I got um, you know the third in the Bat Ar Batman Arkham trilogy oh, I forgot what they called uh, Gotham Knight no what are they called that I forgot what they call it now the third one um, I still haven't played that And that, how long has that been out <laughs> I don't know but uh, I'm hopeless I'm hopeless I am right okie dokie right so we'll leave it there uh, looking forward to that game. Right, so we'll leave it there. So, thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget, like and subscribe, share the videos, drop a comment, hit the notification bell if you've subscribed already, um, and all that stuff. Um, what else? Oh, that's it. So, I'm done. Right, so thanks for watching. Wherever you are, look after each other, and until next time, I'll say this.